Tears as armed bandits shoot seven soldiers are dead in Castina. Suspected armed bandits have launched a daring attack in Jibia local government area of Castina state. The criminals killed seven Nigerian soldiers after the troops trailed a bandit that rustled animals and crossed over to the Nigerian side of the border. An eyewitness said that since the attack on Monday, that's August 16, some of the soldiers have not been accounted for. Daily Trust reported that the attack took place on Monday, August 16, at Karagbo village, about 4 kilometers from Koka Bambangida village. It was gathered that the soldiers trailed a bandit that rustled animals from the Nigerian village, villages and crossed over to the Nigerian side of the border. A resident who pleaded anonymity said the bandit cited Nigerian soldiers coming after them and killed seven. Speaking further, the resident revealed that some of the soldiers, including those who called for reinforcement, have not been encountered for since the attack. Residents of border communities in the bandit in the banditry prone areas rely on Nigerian soldiers for help when they come under attack from bandits. Well, this is a new several of Nigerian soldiers have been killed by bandits. These bandits have been raging war in Nigeria, going about rustling cows and killing people anyhow without the government doing anything about it. Well, I think it's time for the government to stand up, sit up and fight this terrorism and insecurity, especially the northern part of Nigeria, squarely before it gets out of hand. Well, this is what is happens, happening several of Nigerian soldiers have lost their life. Well, unknown gunmen killed two soldiers in Enugu state. Earlier, the Nigerian army lost two of its personal personnel after they were attacked by some gunmen. The two soldiers were reportedly killed in Adani in Uzowani local government area of Enugu state. Specifically, they were attacked and killed at the military checkpoint along Onsuka Adani Anambra Federal Highway, Sun News reports. The attack has been confirmed by the Nigerian army. The army consequently blamed the members of the indigenous people of Biafra and the Eastern Security Network for being behind the attack. Well, meanwhile, a bandit reportedly killed two Nigerian soldiers, wounded several others, and abducted many people in the Sabon Burning local government area of a Sokoto state. This is few kilometers from Sabon Burnley town. A resident of the area, Lawan Gobi, said the two soldiers were killed while trying to repel the bandit attack. This is what is happening as we speak here in Nigeria. The bandits are no more just killing civilians, but they are going ahead killing a soldiers. This is a, and these are army personnel. They killed seven in Kastena, killed two in Enugu, and extra two in uh, um, Sokoto. These are the people that are meant to go and fight war and the bandits are now killing them. Well, this is what we are talking about that Buhari government is making the same mistake Obama made several years ago. Well, the Nigerian government, we have seen them in some footage online for the past week that some repentant Boko Haram were recruited into the military. We saw the Boko Haram members or the, the, the acclaimed repentant Boko Haram members holding some placard with inscription, forgive me Nigeria. They are begging for Nigerians to forgive them for all the atrocities they have committed. And people are seeing that the Nigerian government is not taking the right step. Repentant Boko Haram shouldn't be forgiven and recruited into the military. Instead, they should go through the correctional centers. This way, they could be corrected. The ideas and ideology could be changed. Because these people still carry the idea for years. And these people have been fighting for a terrorist group for years. Bringing them into the military is just a way of showing them the Nigerian map, showing them a network and giving them vital information that could be detrimental to the security of Nigeria. So this is why people are saying that this government is not really tackling insecurity how they should. These are people that have rendered so many uh, 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 um, um, children fatherless, motherless, displaced so many settlements. Settlement. These are the Boko Haram members. These are the bandits, the, the kidnappers, the abductors, the raging war in Nigeria. So the Nigerian government should face them squarely. When one they are one they are captured, justice should take its full course and full measure on their lives. This is the only way we can restore peace and unity. I brought you some news uh, um, some weeks ago whereby two army men were captured by Boko Haram and they were killed. 
Boko Haram displayed their faces, displayed their ID card and killed these two army men. If we continue like this, the Nigerian army will run out of the country because we can see what happened in Afghanistan recently. The Afghanistan army have run away from the government, have run away from the country. They are afraid of fighting because they have lost completely. So if we continue like this, if we continue losing soldiers every single day, we are losing soldiers, we are losing in Kastina, in Enugu, and so many other ones that they are not even telling us. And I'm sure that some of these figures are not true. We are losing more soldiers than the news or the reporters are telling us on news. We are losing so much soldiers. Soldiers. You know how many soldiers have died in, in Brunei fighting Boko Haram? Until today, the Boko Haram insurgency is still on. And Abacha once said that if any uh, um, situation or any insecurity or any issue or crisis persists for more than 24 hours in a country, you should be aware that the government has a hand or an involvement in such a uh, um, case. So this is what we are talking about here in Nigeria. Let the Nigerian government sit up and so that we can stop losing soldiers. These are people that have given their life for Nigeria, to fight for Nigeria, to uphold the nation flag and uphold the name of Nigeria. The government owe them the responsibility of equipping them, of giving them reinforcements and also making sure that they can carry out their work in a peaceful environment. And when there is a crisis like this, the government owe them the responsibility of making sure that they are well equipped because we can see that these bandits have more sophisticated weapons than our Nigerian army. That is why they were able to shoot down a fighter's jet some weeks ago. And now again, they have killed seven of our, our soldiers. Well, this is not what we're supposed to have. This is not good. And we pray that the Nigerian government do, do something about it and compensate the family of the bereaved. Well, you can leave your comment in the comment section below. Let us know what you think concerning this. And also, if you're coming here for the first time, you're welcome to Gleanfo on this platform. We keep you updated what's happening in Nigeria, in Africa, and the world at large. So if you want to stay updated, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel. Please, all those that have not subscribed, I would love you to subscribe, please. And if you have subscribed, I'm saying a very big thank you to you because you're supporting us on this channel. Well, go out to the field to go and search for information every single day just for you. So once you want to stay updated or if you want to stay updated or watch what's happening in Nigeria about politics, about the government, about entertainment, hit that subscribe button. And also there's a bell by, that, by the side. Once you hit that bell, once you tap the bell, it helps notify you whenever we drop our, our daily content because every single day we drop quality content on this particular platform. Well, you can check us out also on Jesus Loves You channel. That's also another YouTube channel where we drop quality news there and also here on Glee Info. Well, I'm Favor Bashi, the presenter, and do have a wonderful week. God bless you.